Hey everyone, just give you a quick update on where we're at with R2. Tonight we've had a kind of moving forward, I did a bunch of um, put my semi clear coat on a lot of the pieces, all of the white body pieces and everything white um, has that sitting and will be ready tomorrow. Uh, all of the most all of the blue pieces are done as well and most all of the uh, silver pieces are done as well now all except the dome parts so these are all my parts for dome and you know I've been kind of working on those as well I did tonight um, go ahead and add the silver the chrome silver uh, I had been experimenting, as you know, a lot with aluminum. I just wasn't happy with how dull they turned out. Um, in fact, this was some of the testing that I did um, on the um, various aluminums that I had. Remember, I was uh, looking at using this white aluminum, the Mission models, white aluminum. That's what this is uh, on both the black uh, gloss black coat and gloss white coat and I'm just uh, turned out not and other testing as well on the various aluminums and uh, I just wasn't happy with just how dull they were um, I really wanted a little bit of shine there and so I just uh, went ahead and, and uh, applied that to so I uh, even on the two pieces where I had the uh, that, are, that go into the dome that have, uh, there's a couple spots where there's kind of, um, some of the silver is also overlaid on the same piece. I did go ahead and do that. You'll notice there's still one black piece. Um, I had to, I'm redoing this one, so he's back to just black primer. I'll get the blue put on tomorrow. Uh, two, it's gonna be a couple of days out because I gotta do two coats. Um, of the blue and then I've also got to put the silver he's actually got also um, around this little display uh, that's a silver ring there so I'll tape that off and do the same thing that I did on this one which is just give the silver around that uh, so that's got to be done so there's quite a few steps left on that guy because of the having to redo that um, but the bigger issue is uh, on all the rest of the, this is the top part that goes on there um, I'm happy in general like if you just look at this silver it looks it looks great uh, you can see this would be the on the top and these are the parts that would show and I'm you know I think that looks awesome and even on the edge if you look at uh, this piece I think it looks um, looks really great uh, on the you know on this front facing piece it's uh, just got a really nice uh, look to it and pretty much is exactly what I want what's interesting is when you put it on the whole dome it um, ends up looking very uh, grainy, um, it, which I mean it it is. And then anytime it's on a flatter surface and a, on a larger volume, you can see the graininess. And on small areas, you don't so much. So that's what's interesting. Um, but of course, the dome is a pretty large area, um, and so you really do see. Green. So I have very mixed feelings. I'm, you know, I obviously really love um, that I don't have any of my seams. I mean, it's a perfect. The dome's perfect, um, but they're just a little bit of, and it's not quite right. And I like the color. The color is just exactly right. Um, it just those grains are just a little bit really thick and. Um, and I think it is a it's a quality of this of this particular uh, paint. I just think it does have uh, really thick grains. Um, that, as I say, on small surfaces you don't notice so much, but on bigger surfaces you do. Um, I'm being a bit picky. I could probably. I mean, it, it it looks pretty good, and it it could certainly certainly pass. Uh, it's you know far far better than the sort of gray plastic that um, that would that came out of the box so I mean it's it's a pretty big improvement but 
it's just I feel like I do get it a little bit better. Um, because I'm redoing this, of course, or depending on what happens with this, um, I may or may not need to strip these other uh, supporting cast members uh, on the dome. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. I, I won't do these guys because there is such small areas and you can't see the grains on these small silver bits, so the silver will be fine for those. Um, but uh, these ones are big enough surfaces where I would want that silver to exactly match. So I would uh, have to strip all of those if I end up stripping this off. So, uh, you know, the usual sort of lots of uh, just uh, work here to get it just right. Um, so we'll just keep uh, working away. Um, the rest of all the, as I say, the rest of the painting all got done uh, tonight. So I'll be in good shape tomorrow actually to do a bunch of deckling if I want. Uh, pretty much all, I mean, other than these 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 two pieces, uh, there's decals that go inside these both of these displays. So obviously I'm not I'm not doing those two deck those three decals in total uh, anytime soon. But all of the rest of the decals are on other pieces that we already have their gloss coat on uh, or semi gloss coat on uh, tonight. So they're they're going to be ready for um, to be ready for tomorrow. So if I want to get after start getting after some of the the deckling, I can do that. And um, yeah, pretty pretty. Pretty exciting, pretty fun. Um, getting uh, you know, it's the the all the different pieces kind of moving together here towards. Uh, you can see it's getting a lot closer now to where that that assembly. Uh, once you get all these prep done, the assembly kind of just uh, goes pretty quickly. At least it did for our five. All right, um, we'll uh, probably check back in uh, tomorrow. Hey everyone, just gonna give you a little bit of a look at some of the uh, did all pretty much all the deco work um, tonight uh, the couple uh, leg pieces quite a lot of quite a lot of decals in this one um, the little cross ones that come across here little little ones and then they actually loop along the edges as well and then these ones um, that come down so the parallel lines that come down and then these little guys tucked up under here and those ones that kind of gave me some a little bit of headache this time around, but I think I've got them pretty okay. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with them. I, if I was to do it again, actually, I probably would just paint there. There's actually little openings, and you could take a little brush and um, uh, just get some silver in there, and it would um, fill in nicely. So it, it'd be another legitimate option, but it, they turned out pretty good, actually. It just took a lot of work. Uh, I had to and I had to pull them up, and I literally had to get out kind of the tweezers at one point, even after I'd used the, um, even even after I'd you know, kind of used the microsole. So they were pretty soft, but I was able to just get an edge and get it repositioned. And they're 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 gonna they're gonna do, um, and I'm yeah really happy with them actually. These guys are really the most finicky little, and there's you know of course six of them, are these little square silver pieces. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. They're really super detailed. Um, the top and the bottom one, I just kind of missed. They're not like perfectly on. The rest of them are pretty good. Um, incredibly difficult. And and then they, they, they're they bigger than they need to be. And then you get the Microsoft on there. And then they kind of shrink down. And then you see that they didn't quite align perfect. So, But they're pretty good. This one actually turned out better than my R5. In the R5, it... It, it came out looking, you know, by the time you look at it, it looked pretty good, even though this one's actually not as good as this one. Um, you see it kind of missed. That was kind of a mess. That one doesn't even have the bottom line, but you can't really tell at all unless you get out of the magnifying glass and kind of look really, really close. So I'm not too concerned uh, about that. I found two extra de decals, too, for R5. I just put them on, actually. <laughs> Number 19 were these two little silver. I couldn't find where they were. I finally realized they were on R5. So those have just been put there. Just put the microsole on now. So they're just uh, settling down into position there. Yeah, uh, these two went really good this time. So remember I had kind of some headaches uh, on R5. The 
uh, these little parts, the little corners. This time they all came out just perfect. I've got them. I'm really happy with where they're positioned. I just uh, put the microsol on, so they're they're kind of shrinking and, and you know kind of bubbling up a bit, but they'll they're just perfectly positioned. And then my center pieces are a lot nicer than the R5. So lessons learned there. Got a little better job on those, I'd say, this time around. Um, this is a different piece um, for um, R2. Uh, obviously, we have the light piece, which I used the red color there, and then these little uh, displays, which they give you the option in the decals to either be lit or not lit. Well, of course, I lit mine when I'm active. They turned out really great. Um, they were really tricky to get kind of in there, and I'm going to put a little bit more Microsol to they see if they'll just go down even a little bit more. Um, but I just love that they're nicely centered in their little um, the little display uh, rectangles there that I painted in the silver there. So that worked out pretty good. Really happy with that actually. And then um, and then the uh, light on the back is I picked the yellow. Um, Again, you could have it on or off. Uh, I, I did turn it on, just to add a little bit more color there. Mm, yeah, and then I did um, as well apply the decals to all of these guys. So I've got my little, these are the little power power boxes where the, on the fronts of the battery boxes, those little blue pieces there. And then all of these little guys too, really finicky. Um, the little blue there at the top, those, those are on the, kind of on the legs, just where they kind of connect the leg, the pads, the foot pads. So I've got those guys all put on there as well. Again, really finicky. This, this model wins for finicky, uh, little teensy little decals. Um, of course they're water, well, they do come with decal, you know, like literally stickers, but, um, I'm not, not really interested in those, so uh, but the little little water slides are definitely more than enough challenge, for sure. Um, so yeah, so that worked out really good. I also did the painting. Remember, this is the piece I had to redo, so he's been painted tonight. A couple coats of my blue purple, and um, we'll get him. Uh, we'll get him clear coated tomorrow and then um and then we'll uh get his deck i actually paint the silver around his little monitor box there and then we'll put the little decal for his uh, that little extra little monitor that runs there um so that one's just going to lag behind a little bit that's the last two decals really that i've got other than the there's a, a black decal they've got around his main eyepiece uh on this one here uh, around this, there's actually a black decal. Uh, you can see the spot where it's going to lay, kind of on where it's kind of raised there. As you can also see, it did get stripped down, covered of the... And uh, the alcohol, not only did it take the primer off, it took all of my fill out. So I've been busy tonight reapplying fill. I've got that, I think, pretty good. So I'm going to prime it tomorrow. Um, and just see whether it might take another, of course, another coat of fill um, to make sure I get that perfect again. So I was a little, <laughs> wasn't thinking about that uh, when I just dropped them in the alcohol. Um, but it is ready to go. The other other guys are all um, ready to go as well. They all were in the alcohol and uh, came pretty clean. This piece is fine. This one, very finicky. I can't get all that. It doesn't really matter. The silver, uh, I'm going to just... Uh, prime over top of that and then silver. It doesn't really matter. Only if those hatches are open would you even see in here um, to see what, uh, if you're attaching a tool into his top part, would you even see that? So those guys will all get um, the new color. Hey there guys, sorry. I uh, forgot to mention the other two decals that I did which are on the little heat sinks on the main body. Um, they're kind of an interesting shaped decal on the sheet so that because they kind of will go on in these angles inside the uh, kind of on the inset part of those so that those decals went in um, I put them on both they sh certainly show them on both 
in a lot of the real pictures that blue is there um now uh however they just give you the two of them so poor r5 i i, I didn't even realize they were supposed to be there and so r5 you'll notice on his two uh, he doesn't have them on either um because i don't want to share so um r2 gets both of them because they should be on both and r5 gets none hey guys so as we talked about yesterday uh definitely busy with some assembly uh on r2 tonight and um I'm lots of fun the as we expected the legs uh pretty much are um complete and can be completed um with all the pieces that we'd had together all of the decals are in place um looking look great I'm really happy with how it um with how it turned out and um yeah it looks really really great I uh have not added the um little electrical cables there yet uh, on either either legs but there everything else is um, all set up there i've got i did spray um all of these guys with uh the semi i wanted to get just a little bit more um to smooth out the gloss level on this guy i had to get it got a little bit of a extra shine on this side um it's one of the things with the semi if you you know it got just a little bit closer in one area so i i did want to um, even out that sort of semi-gloss uh, on that so I did redo that guy and then this one of course needed um, just needed semi because it was uh, redone so that piece is uh, now now ready uh, once it's uh, dry here which actually you know, in about another hour I think this um, uh, using the mission models um, semi in this one um, needs about three hours to be ready to be used I can even uh, you know mask that and um, do the painting uh, along this uh, edge uh, of the little monitor that has to be silver so I'll be tape that up and um, get that uh, I actually I may not paint that yet until tomorrow so yeah I probably won't do that in tonight even I'll just let that sit overnight and um, dry this piece I may install um, I do have as you notice I've been doing the build here um and so as a result i am pretty much ready now to add that and then these pieces actually can come together and once they're together i can start doing uh, the little bit of seam work that there is there's not a lot these are this is a great model um but there's a couple little spots just like i did on um, r5 that i want to that i want to take care of um and so i'll be able to to do that once i um uh, once that's um, complete, once that piece is in, I obviously don't want to install that until that's in place. Um, so yeah, it's looking really, really great. I'm super happy with it. Um, and uh, we, um, uh, the little uh, leg in there is all set and um, Tested works great, so that'll that'll work good. Everything's pretty much set. I've got uh, all these guys already. Um, I've been obviously applied a bunch of them. The rest that are remaining here are all uh, parts that go in the dome, which that's a, another major uh, construction piece that I did um, that I did work on earlier tonight. As you recall, uh, I did strip out all of the silver. The Tamiya silver that I had used, the chrome silver, because of the thickness, um, they just had very, very, very thick um, flakes in that in that silver, and it kind of just didn't look like it wasn't the look that I wanted. Um, and so I did strip all that, and then as a result, I had to redo all of my plaster work on this guy. But uh, you can see I've got that back to pretty much perfect there now. Um, you know the the seams are not uh, they're completely invisible there which is what i was after um so he's these are ready uh, all of them have been primed and uh so i'll just let those sit overnight and then in the morning i will get after the um the new silver i'm going to be using which um i think i mentioned um uh, is the 
um, mission models. It, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to do a little more testing tonight. It might be this guy still, the Vallejo aluminum. Um, I, I did a little bit of testing already with this, and I was kind of impressed with it. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more testing tonight. I recall I had done some testing um, so I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna do the uh, Vallejo. Is gonna be laid down on the um, black gloss and the white gloss, just to compare it against. This is the so the mission model silver right above it. Um, and so I'll be able to compare the two there. And then this is the um, this is the old um, that's the old white aluminum um, that I had uh, the original white aluminum mission model. So. They're, they're actually really similar to the silver and the white aluminum, so I can... Uh, on the black. I'm not going to use black. What I've realized is that I really enjoy the um, white gloss, the aluminum with white gloss, better. I think it gives it way better. So I'm going to use the uh, white gloss uh, under that. Um, so that's something I'll be applying on the primer tomorrow on the dome pieces. And yeah, you can see those are very similar. Um, but I do think the silver is a is a slightly nicer, uh, it's a nice smooth, and slightly nicer than the aluminum. So I think I'm I'm still uh, leaning that way on the gloss white between the mission models. I'll, as I say, I will lay this this uh, this one down here just to compare and uh, see because it's a, I think a, a, a good candidate as well. And so I just want to have a look at that um, to see. Which one? And as you know, I also have this one, but I kind of have ruled this one out. The RAF um, silver. It's just a little too dark. Um, and so I don't... Um, that one's not actually one that I'm going to even... Um, that I'm not even going to be testing here, uh, likely. So in terms of all of the pieces, as you know, um, I've got my... <coughs> Let me just zoom in here a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry. So I've got the little um, grabby claw really happy that's pretty much um, done um, not the latest version of the saw where I as I think you know I added the red there on the tip I was looking online doing a little reference um, research and there's a little red there and I added the black dots I added just a little bit of um, darkness into these three spot uh, little holes uh, on the saw blade uh, so they're now darker. Um, I could add a little bit of black paint. I just used my weathering uh, pencils down in there, and I'm pretty happy with that. I don't, I'm not sure I want them black a black. I mean, I think they are maybe slightly darker, so I might. The other option that I could do is just um, use a, you know, use a marker, um, like something like this one, and just put that down in there. That's another another option. Let me just see. Yeah, that works out than where I <laughs> works out than where I went out of the hole. Yeah, there we go. So that's actually just makes it even a little bit darker. So yeah, so that's the current version of the saw. Pretty happy with that. Uh, this guy is ready to go. He's kind of the I've got a, quite a bit of detail here. Um, you can see the different colors of steel and gray on this uh, particular piece. Uh, I've been adding, and I've got the blue in there now, which is again based on reference, uh, the reference model. So I'm pretty happy with him. I think he's almost there. Um, Periscope, <laughs> lots of work on this guy. Um, so this is the latest on him I still need obviously more work to do here because I have to um, paint these parts black and I also this lid is not on um, I have to properly properly um, get that in place currently I'm just using a temporary glue to hold that down my unfortunately the little tab part um, because I had put this again in some solvent um, to strip at one point, 
to redo the color because I slightly changed my blue early on. Um, and then I had used my alligator clamp too soon and it dissolved the the tab. So there's no tab now that goes down in there. So I'm going to have to ultimately uh, glue that down into place. For now, I just used um, sort of my liquid, some liquid masking tape um, that's just temporarily holding that in place. Um, anyway, I do have a little bit more work there to do uh, adding the dark. Um, I'm going to use a kind of a smoke paint, I think, in these lenses, and then even on the front one there, and just see how that looks. Um, the other option is that I might actually just, <laughs> not surprisingly, try um, uh, using my smoke. Then I got my little, uh, the little antenna. Pretty straightforward piece. I used a different, a different um, aluminum color on the pole than on the actual dish and then there's the gold pewter color on the center collector on there so I'm pretty that's pretty accurate pretty happy with that little piece we got the little uh, electrocution piece added the little detail there with the gold uh, in the middle there this one's pretty much done I think there's if I'm not mistaken just a little bit more coloring I'll be putting in here to check that out again I feel like there's another band of color in here um, I'll check the reference on that, but it's pretty getting pretty close um, on that guy. And then this one, uh, this one needs more work. I've got the uh, again. I used a different color uh, in the middle. You can barely, probably can't really tell on the camera, but the little extension piece is a different color of aluminum. Um, some some bands. So there's more work to be done on this. I did actually also use a different color on the tip here. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of darkness, kind of a wash that I used. I don't know if actually if you can see that or not, but anyway, so it gives a little bit of texture on the tip there, uh, kind of a little darker in those areas. And then that silver right here, it's an extra silver on this part. So very subtle differences, but they're not all the same metal there. So I'm pretty happy with how that's coming along. So that's it for those guys. Um, still work in progress I kind of kind of enjoy just looking up reference photos and trying to dig up you know exactly the different uh, tools and um, just putting a bit of work into, into updating those